All right, man, in this video, we are going to be taking you guys through my entire Cody Rhodes AEW and WWE action figure collection. So we have all of them here in the backstage area, man. We got Cody Rhodes collection today, man. One of my favorites to watch, man. Cody Rhodes, the American Nightmare, looking pretty badass. We have a lot of figures here that we've gotten since he returned to Mattel. We have some before he left WWE originally. I said Mattel, I meant WWE. He's had quite a bit of releases since returning back to WWE here today, man, and we're going to go through the AEW figures, the WWE action figures, man, but we uh, he's a very toyetic guy, and I like Cody a lot, and we're going to dive into the collection here today, man. So we haven't done a collection video like this in a really long time, so hopefully, you know, you buckle the hell up, man, get ready. He is currently kind of the man of the hour right now, so we're going to dive into all of my Cody Rhodes figures and just kind of celebrate him going on to WrestleMania 40. So let's start things off with his Ultimate Edition. Now, he only has one Ultimate Edition. We, of course, do have another one on the way that is coming this year. And this is the Mattel Creations exclusive Cody Rhodes Ultimate Edition figure. Now, they did kind of fast-track this. This is from his first matchup. I believe it was at WrestleMania 38 with Seth Rollins. And he does have this cloth goods jacket in here. And, you know, it, this figure just isn't the greatest. It's, I, I do like this figure a lot. When we saw this back at the WrestleMania Superstore, I thought it was my favorite reveal. It was my favorite figure on display. But I just feel like he could be so much better. Now, of course, we do have another one coming this year that I'm really excited about from his attire at WrestleMania 39. And I'm hoping we also get his Royal Rumble, or his first Royal Rumble win. And then again, I hope we get his second Royal Rumble win eventually this year. But this Cody Rhodes is, is nice. It just kind of disappointed me. The gold's not accurate. The jacket's oversized. There's different things going on. I think his next Ultimate Edition will be much better, but it's still a badass figure, and I love this Cody. Next up is possibly my favorite Cody Rhodes they've ever done, man. The Hell in a Cell Torn Peg Defining Moments Cody Rhodes right here. Now, I, I want to get the, I want to preface this because Mattel does this thing with the Cody Rhodes figures. And right here on the damn neck, man, they always put his tattoo too close to the ear. I've said it a hundred times. I've showcased this in a video. It's too close, man. Take this tattoo off of his face. This should not be on the head sculpt whatsoever. Leave it right here. Maybe lower it just a hair, and it'll be perfect. It will literally be perfect where they put it. Putting it on the face like this is so dumb, because when he articulates like this, you have this jagged thing, and there's a massive gap, and it makes no sense. All that to say, I love this Cody. It's beautiful. The Torn Peck is such a badass idea. It's similar to a Blood and Guts line, man. I mean, it, this is a very close call. He's got an injury right here. He's got the Torn Peck bruise on there. Beautiful gear, beautiful figure. I love this. And this is the best head sculpt they've done for Cody. They repainted the Elite 101, and it looks so damn like him. And I put this random AEW belt on there because they do the accurate weight belt mold, which we still haven't gotten from Mattel. It is coming with his new Ultimate, but... This figure is so beautiful. It's it just such a chef's kiss figure right here. Next up, we have the Elite 101. Now, we actually have quite a bit of this figure. And this is the Vindication Pick Fed version. He has the Iron Man Championship on there, which is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people know the lore. Some people don't know the lore. If you don't know the lore, catch up on the lore. But he's got the American Nightmare Cody shirt from the Bullet Club in there because he's in the Bullet Club and the Fed there. Kind of tells you how damn old it is, to be honest. Sad day. But we have a few of that figure. So I have a few Elite 101s right here. I want to bring them all up to the forefront here. And we can kind of knock all these out. Now, again, I love Cody Rhodes and I love collecting his figures because he is toyetic. You can make these different fix-ups. So we have a few different ones here. This one is the Elite 101, but we did throw the Ultimate Edition Screaming Head Sculpt on there, which looks immaculate. Love the way that looks. And again, added the weight belt. So, you know, the head sculpt's a bit big. And again, it has the damn tattoo on the jaw, which is dumb. But we have the yelling expression right there. We also have, again, the Iron Man Champion pick-fed version right here, which doesn't have the tattoo. You see, this is what it should look like. So I removed the tattoo. If you lower the tattoo that's here just a hair, it would be pretty much perfect, I think, because there's a gap between his ear and the tattoo, man. Just look at the references. But then we have two more Elite 101s, which is going to be this custom one with, that has this custom shirt on here. And then I put Elite 47 Gold Dust boots on here. I acetone the logos off and put those on there. So now it's like a hybrid. He's worn these style like gold boots before. And then the same mold as his regular boots. So you get this really cool fix-up with the gold and blue attire to go with the gold and blue, the rest of it. So yeah, I like that Elite 101 fix-up there. And then this is kind of just the standard Elite 101, man. There it is. It's the standard Elite 101, except I did put a, an AEW Unrivaled weight belt on there because it's blue, and it looks better than the Mattel versions of the belts. And then the last two Elites I do believe we have here from Mattel is the recent Top Picks one. I do have another one of these on the way, which I'm excited for because we're going to fix that one up as well. But he has the Ultimate Edition Smiling Head Sculpt on there. Again, another weight belt on there. And then it is the red 
blue and gold gear. This is a top picks figure. Hopefully, like what's crazy is I have not seen a single Cody Rhodes figure elite. I have not seen a single Cody Rhodes elite. He's been in two top picks waves and he's been in elite 101. I've never seen a Cody Rhodes at retail elite. I've seen his basic suited figure and I've seen his other basic figures. Now I don't include basics in this video, but I did include one basic over here, which we'll get into. That's besides the point. We have the red top picks and then we have the mint green, light blue, grayish hybrid doesn't even exist attire Cody Rhodes Elite, and that is this one here with the black weight belt. I did put an unrivaled head sculpt on there that's smiling. I thought that looked pretty good. I just threw a random black weight belt on there, but then you have this gear, which looks really damn good. It's a damn good gear and whatnot. It's just not accurate. I do believe it's supposed to be like a flat gray or something, but it's still a cool figure. It's cool attire. It's just, it's just not accurate, so it's not, again, not the biggest deal ever, but it still makes for a badass figure, and his figure's not only do they just represent the character so well, they pose around well because they're on ball joints. They have a great formula. They're just great, man. Aesthetically, they're fantastic. So there's that top picks figure. We also have this basic here, which again, I've, I'm really debating cutting the vest off because I think it would make it look a lot better. But we have this suited Cody here, and I guess we can use this opportunity to dive into multiple suited Cody figures here. And so we do have this suited Cody, and then we have this other Mattel Cody back here in a suit. I'll just face him the other way for now. We have this other Mattel suited Cody, which we'll get into, but I've only found this basic Cody and then a the top picks gray, and then I think it was like his first basic that used the Elite 32 Cody Rhodes head sculpt that looked nothing like him, but they kind of like fast-tracked it, gave it blonde hair. It did not look good, to be honest, but there's this suited Cody, and then we also have this custom hybrid. I used an AEW Unrivaled Cody Rhodes head sculpt, and then I put this onto a Legends Ultimate Warrior Elite suited figure. And it looks pretty good. It looks like Cody in suit. So, you know, you could do that. I mean, you could pop on one of his other Elite head sculpts or something. His Ultimate head sculpts if you wanted to. I just kind of made this when... Uh, I think he was still in AEW when I made this figure. So that's just another thing there. But you have a gray suited figure. And then we also have one of my favorite AEW figures that they ever made, man, was the suited Cody figure. And I love that this actually got number one figure of the year for me from AEW in 2022, and we have a few different versions of it here. We have, oh my God in heaven, Jesus in Christ and above Betsy. So what I was saying was, is we have a few different versions here. So I do have multiple copies of some of these Cody's men on card, but this is the smiling head sculpt that came on it. I cut the jacket and it looks awful to be honest with you, but uh, it was a winter coat like this. He has the angry head sculpt. And so I took off the winter coat and cut it to look like a suit, which I really didn't do that good. It kind of looks like trash, to be honest. But you know what? It's there. So this is like the two different head sculpts, and I made a suited version and a long winter coat version. Then I made a version where I just took the jacket completely off. So now you have this, like, vested, long sleeve version that looks dumb as hell, to be honest with you. It should have white sleeves, right? It should look like Jonah Jameson, kind of. So that kind of looks dumb. But and again, another kind of fix-up figure. And then we have the Chase variant which is this. It's the one of 3,000, I think. It may have been one of 5,000 version of Cody, which is this figure just in gray. And you guys can see it has the two tones. So it's got the, got the light gray coat with the dark gray underneath and the blue tie. Very sweet figure. Black, you know, loafers on there. Very good looking figures. I love that suited Cody. So, I, you know, I have a few of those as well. And you got to get into the lore of the Supreme Edition, man. We have the Supreme Cody's, and I have quite a bit of the Supreme Cody. Now, what's great about the Supreme Cody is they didn't give us a cloth goods jacket. They gave us a damn sculpted jacket with the removable arms. And so uh, we have the regular edition Supreme Cody Rhodes right here, and then we have the Walmart exclusive Supreme Cody Rhodes. And so I do believe that this is a loose first version of the Supreme right here, like without the jacket arms and stuff. And then this is the Walmart exclusive Supreme with uh, the jacket on, the jacket off. That sounds weird. And so you got, I like mismatched the gear and whatnot and pretty damn good. I love this. This jacket right here, when Mattel does their sculpted version of this jacket, I hope it's as good as this because this is so good. The double jointed arms with the jacket and the pinless, it looks so damn clean, man. So I think when Mattel gives us that I, I, I don't think that figure's up for pre-order, the Ultimate Edition 21 Cody Rhodes, but when that goes up for pre-order, man, it's over with. I, I probably will be pre-ordering quite a few of those. I want one with a jacket on there, obviously, a couple with it off. I loved that Navy gear that he wore. I was there in person on the floor to see that matchup, so I'm definitely going to want that figure for sure to fit in with all these Cody's, but you have uh, those two versions there. This is like the American boots with the blue attire, which is the Elite 101, believe it or not, from Mattel, so we got like a comparison there between those. 
We also have the Walmart exclusive, which is like this red. This is like his New Japan gear, I do believe, or he rocked this in New Japan, I do believe it was. He obviously still wore it in AEW, but you guys get the point there. And then on the other gears, we have this teal and grayish black version, and then we also have this red version here, which is pretty much the top talents attire, pretty close to it, the, the most recent top talents, Cody Rhodes, very similar, but the head sculpts on these were atrocious. I do not like these head sculpts whatsoever, um, but the rest of the figure's execution was really good. Getting into some other really good unrivaled Cody Rhodes figures, man. We have the ringside exclusive TNT champion, Cody. This figure's great, man. I love the angry head sculpt. That was the first time we had seen that, I do believe. We have the purple matte side with the chrome silver side, which looks really, really clean. He came with a TNT title. Great t-shirt. Great figure overall. This, for a long time, was my favorite unrivaled Cody. I just think it's so good. The attire's so damn good on this, so... I'd love to see them uh, run that back in Mattel version. I don't think that's going to happen, but you guys get the point. Then we have the Unrivaled 4 version with the Thronebreaker shirt, which is kind of like the Jacksonville Jags style attire he's had. Or like the, the weight belt, certainly uh, Jacksonville Jaguars theme. The won't back down. He's got like the green. The green, silver, and black isn't necessarily Jaguars, but the weight belt certainly is. And then we also have the UK ring, AEW ring exclusive with the silver tights, great looking figure again. Great, I, I love this gear. I love the red boots. They're very clean. I, I'd really like to see Mattel give us more of their, see their boot mold, you know, re remolded in different colors and such. But we have these two unrivaled figures, which I really like. We also have the other ringside exclusive, which is going to be the Blood Brothers 2-pack, Blood and Guts Cody Rhodes. Got the blood all over him. Certainly a fantastic figure. It's basically the unrivaled one figure, right? Like we have three different versions of it, or two different versions, which we'll get into. But he came with Dustin Rhodes. They were both bloody. A very iconic pack, I'd say. They started off the Blood and Guts line really well. It's a great figure. It just stands out on a shelf. I love that one right there. And then you have the other versions of this figure. And I just have a couple copies here. Everybody remembers the infamous <laughs> pale skin tone Cody Rhodes from Unrivaled Series 1. The whole entire series was pretty much just jacked up, you know, with the factory skin tones. Man, that was such a terrible era. But they did redo them in an updated skin tone, which makes them look way better. But we have a couple of the pale skin tone. Then we have the Unrivaled 1B versions right here with the corrected skin tone. It's a great looking attire. I really do love this attire, but we got it quite a few times. Got three separate occasions, Blood and Guts, Unrivaled 1, and then Unrivaled 1B. But, you know, they were solid. For the first release ever, you know, if the skin tones weren't that light, I think they would have been okay. We have a couple Stardust back here. We have the Elite 36 Original Stardust, and then we have the Elite 103 Regular Edition in the WrestleMania 32 gear with the double-jointed arms. I always wanted this attire in figure form from Mattel, so when they finally gave it to us, I was thrilled. They did give it to us with wrong boots. I did fix them up with accurate boots. I think these are Heath Slater or something like that. These are the accurate boots. They're the, you know, the laceless or whatever the hell. The same ones he wears today. This is a fantastic figure. I don't have the chase just yet. Still trying to track that down. But we do have the Elite 103 and the Elite 36 versions of Stardust. Really love this one, man. This is a great figure right here. And then we also have the Elite 20 Cody Rhodes. This one right here is one that's going to be turned into a custom. I ordered it strictly for parts. But over the years, I have had this figure quite a bit. It had the entrance, like, duster thing. It also came with white knee pads. And, you know, he's obviously... I got this off eBay, so it looks like hell. I didn't do any of this. It's all beat to hell. But I wanted to showcase it in the video to kind of give you the lore on the Cody Rhodes. We also have this Elite 13 Cody Rhodes with the bag on its head. It came with a jacket. came with a face mask. It, it was a pretty good figure. A lot of people like this figure. But this is very early on Cody Rhodes. The bag on the head is just sweet accessory. You guys can also see it's beat to hell. But... These two are beat to hell, and I'm still working on acquiring the Elite 3. Like, I want to get an actual version of this figure. I'd like to make a dashing Cody Rhodes with the mustache out of the basic. I think that's something I want to do eventually. So there's definitely Cody's that we got to get in the collection. You know, give them the, the white icy title, stuff like this. But we also have the Elite 32 that is meant on card back here. And this was actually a gift from a man, Giovanni. And that's a great figure as well. Owned this, the Elite 32, I've owned 100 times. I've owned the Elite 20 100 times. Every time I got them, I turned them into customs because it's really good parts for, you know, thigh swaps and making Finn Balor's and Prince Devitt's and customs and stuff like that. So it's kind of like a baseline for those guys originally. So that's why I've had that figure so many times. But I wanted to leave this men on card because it, it, I just like it a lot. It's kind of a throwback Cody there. But that is the full Cody Rhodes figure collection, man. We have a ton of elites, tons of ultimates, not a ton of basics. I do have some basic Cody Rhodes figures, but... I don't really care about the lore of that. It's going to be real. I, I mainly collect. I mean, now I'm going to collect more basics because of the updated articulation. But I did want to get into just my Cody Rhodes 
Elite and Ultimate Collection today, man. And I also have a few of the Ultimate Edition men on card for sure, but did not want to uh, pull those out of the closet there. So there's that. But I think that's pretty much going to wrap up our Cody Rhodes Collection video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Looking forward to more Cody Rhodes figures, of course. And this is a shout. If anybody has... This figure right here, if anybody has the Defining Moments Cody Rhodes that you would trade, please hit me up. I, I'm looking for multiples of that figure. I'd like to make a non bruise Cody version of that and possibly some other stuff. So if you guys have that figure or you, you know, you're know you thinking about trading it or whatnot, man, I would greatly appreciate it if you'd hit me up. But nonetheless, man, huge shout-out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Before we get out of here, I wanted to give a huge shout-out to those guys. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. But that is pretty much going to wrap the video up, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Uploading daily on TikTok nowadays. So definitely go get in on that, man. I'd greatly appreciate it. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.